Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. If you are new to cricketing or even just starting to think about even purchasing a Cricut, you might be thinking about all the different things that you might need in order to get started. For instance, what device do I use in order to operate a Cricut machine? Can I use my phone? Can I use my tablet? Do I need a desktop or a laptop computer? And so we're going to answer some of those questions here today. Here at Oak and Lamb, we do have an opinion that if you do have the desktop version of Design Space available to you, it is easier to use that version. We think that the overall look of the desktop version of Design Space is a little easier to grasp. You can see all of the actions and all of the buttons more easily. Um, I, I don't find myself fumbling around looking for things as much as I do on my mobile device. However, do you need the desktop version? You do not have to have the desktop version. Absolutely do not have to have it. Um, I know a lot of times you've put all the money into all of the craft supplies and the machine and all that stuff, and maybe you just don't have the funds for a desktop or laptop computer, and that's absolutely fine. Um, today we're gonna look at some of the functions that are available uh, for desktop that are not available for the mobile version of Design Space, and we're also gonna talk about maybe why you would want mobile over desktop. So there's not a right way and a wrong way um, to, to craft in Design Space with your Cricut. Uh, there's just what what works best for you. We do have members who have desktop available to them and still prefer their phone and have told us why. And so we're gonna share that with you as well. But let's look at a chart really quickly that kind of compares the different um, assets of the desktop version versus iOS version or Android version. And iOS can be used on a tablet like an iPad or the mobile version or, or a mobile phone. And um, you can also use other tablets besides iPads. So let's look at that and uh, we'll just talk quickly about whether or not the features that are available on desktop we really think are like matter. And um, we'll go from there. So most of the features and most of the actions, most of the design actions that are available in the desktop version of Design Space are also available for the mobile version. There are a couple that are not, but we'll go through that. Um, so you can see here we have Windows and Mac, um, the desktop version for Windows and for Mac are the exact same. So that's nice. The iOS app and the Android app are a little bit different, but we'll go through that too. Okay, so like I mentioned with the actions, attach um, is available for all of the versions. Attach is just how you group different layers together, basically. Um, all of the versions are Bluetooth compatible. That is something that is important to me. Um, all of the versions can contour, which is a design space or a design um, method cut and write in one step so that's really nice all of them will flatten to print so print then cut all will use writing style fonts all have the machine set up so you can if you are just unboxing a machine you can set it up with your phone you do not need a desktop in order to do that so that's really nice um, all will slice and weld again that's another design action you can use system fonts for all. So if you download fonts and put them on your computer or put them on your tablet or put them on your mobile device, then you can use them in Design Space for all of the different versions. Um, there is the offline feature, which means that you can access your saved projects and use them even if you are not connected to Wi-Fi. Now that is only available on the desktop version and iOS app. It is not currently available on the Android app. I'm really not sure why or when they would change that. It seems silly to me that they can do that for the others, but not for Android. Um, we have smart guides that are available on the mobile version, but not the desktop. Now, smart guides are what will kind of lock your graphic to the, the nearest like quarter inch on the canvas or something like that. So um, it helps just align your graphics. I personally don't like smart guides. I feel like sometimes I don't want it to be locked to a specific um, inch or whatever that's on the canvas and it does that automatically and so I turn mine off but a lot of people do like it 
and that is only available on those mobile versions. Um, it does also have Snap Matte that is only available for iOS. Again, I don't know when it will be available for Android, but that is not available for desktop. And Snap Matte comes in useful if you are going to be engraving on a disc or placing something in a very specific spot on a piece of fabric or... Um, this is this is mainly for adaptive tools like your engraving tool or debossing tip and things like that and so what it does is it allows you to take a picture of your mat with your blank already on it and then you can place your graphic that you've created in design space on your blank because of that picture that you've taken so that is actually pretty cool um, that you can do that with the ios version it does have pattern fills and templates only in design space for desktop versions now pattern fills are cool but i don't use them a lot it's more for print and cut for me personally i would use inkscape or illustrator or something like that over the pattern fill option so that's not a make or break feature for me in my opinion um, obviously, you can upload images for all of the different versions. Um, you can link physical cartridges with the desktop version. Now, physical cartridges, I have to be honest, are kind of, nobody really uses them anymore. I think some crafters who were around with Cricut in the very beginning might still have some, but I can't imagine that they really use them. It's so much easier to just download and import a file um, rather than having to sift through and find your different cartridges and things like that. And the only machines that are actually current and using cartridges are the Air 2 series. So um, not many are using cartridges now. Um, you can curve text with both the desktop and iOS versions. Now that is something that is newer to the iOS version of Design Space. It didn't, uh, very recently, it just came into play there. I would say that it will be coming to the Android app uh, reasonably quick as well but um, that used to be something that drove me crazy that you could not curve text on the ios version but you can now uh, the knife blade cutting so if you have a maker series machine and you have those adaptive tools especially the knife blade you cannot use it if you have a mobile version of design space the reason is that the knife blades typically have longer cut times Design Space has prohibited use of the knife blade with the mobile versions of Design Space because it's a Bluetooth connection. The fear is that with those super long cuts that the, your phone would die or lose connection or something like that and then your cut would stop in the middle and you would be pretty much SOL for lack of a better term. So that is one drawback. If you have a maker, um, you're not going to be able to use its functionality if you don't have a desktop version of Design Space available to you. Um, the community, obviously, I don't really use that. So if I were an Android user, it wouldn't really bother me that that's not available. You do have offset, which is one of my favorite things that Design Space has added. And you can use that in the mobile and desktop versions of the app. We also can um, use project collections in the desktop version. Again, I don't really use that. So the fact that I can't access it with the mobile version doesn't really change anything for me. And you can warp text with both versions, desktop and iOS versions. So now the answer, the question is, so if none of these are really, really important to me, really the only one that would be important to me would be the knife blade, that I couldn't use that. But um, the other part is how usable, it, like how, it, how is the user interface for desktop versus iOS? And so we're gonna look at that really quickly. Since I already have my desktop pulled up, let's pull up Design Space and we'll just see how easy it is to find and navigate everything. Now, like anything, once you use it enough, you're going to be able to easily find the actions uh, no matter which version you're using, but um, it's just so much easier, in my opinion, to be able to see all of these menu options and see all of these menu options right here. I'm not having to fumble around and find where my align tool is or whether or not my size lock ratio is intact before I size things or um, what the size is of my fonts and things like that. So it's just so easy to have all of this here. In my opinion, it's easier to use a mouse with a cursor uh, to place things, to get things very precise, um, but not totally 
totally undoable. So now that we have looked at that, let's look at the mobile version and we can play around with that and see it. So the mobile version, like I mentioned, the canvas is a little bit smaller. Of course, the bigger the phone that you have, the easier it is. Um, but you can scroll with your fingers and kind of zoom in like that, which is really nice. That's um, an easy um, adjustment and all of your menu items are here. So I'm having to scroll through here. Now there are sub menus as well. And what I mean by a sub menu is, let's go ahead and add a shape here. Um, so I've added this shape, let's make it bigger so we can see what we're doing. See how this came up? This is a sub menu. Um, so then I can, let's see, duplicate if I wanted to, or I can select both and then have the different actions. So those actions like the combine that are under the combine menu, weld, unite, subtract, slice, all that stuff is under the sub menu. And then uh, depending on which of the main menu items you choose, the sub menu will change. So if I select edit, then that sub menu will change. So again, it's very usable. It's just what you get used to. Uh, the other thing that I don't love is the layers panel. So in my opinion, once you get so many layers on here, um, it's a little bit more difficult to see what you're working with than it is to just easily look over and see the layers pan panel um, in the desktop version of Design Space. So there you have it. There is a quick rundown of all of the differences. And so uh, to kind of wrap it up for me personally, if the Bluetooth connectivity and the knife blade were not an issue, I really don't think you have to have a desktop version of Design Space in order to be successful. Like I mentioned earlier, we have so many members who do solely work on their mobile or, ta or tablet. Uh, and it is so easy for them to do that. So I, no matter what you have, just get started. If you only have a phone, don't feel like you can't purchase the Cricut, can't get started, can't get, become a crafter because you only have a phone to, to run Design Space. It's totally doable. It's absolutely doable. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight and education um, on what you should decide to do. If you like this content and like other content like this, let us know. Also subscribe to the channel. It is free to do that and turn on notifications so that you know when we go live and post other content like this. If you like this content, you also will like our membership here at Oak and Lamb. At Oak and Lamb, we have member only content where we give lots of education on Cricut, on Glowforge, on sewing, woodworking, sublimation, resin, anything crafty, we do it. And we have member only content that is not available to the public, available specifically for you. We also have a member only podcast, a member only Facebook group where our flock meets and helps each other out. And we have access to our entire library of cut files that can be used with your die cut machine, with your sublimation printer, with your laser cutters, and so much more. You get a free commercial use license with those. So if you like to craft and sell with those, then it is absolutely legal to do that. Use the code FUN, F-U-N, for $10 off your first month here at Oak and Lamb and join Oak and Lamb for $9.99 for your first month. Let us know if you have any questions about the membership, about any of the information that was given out today, or if you have any suggestions for future content, leave comments in the comment section below and let us know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another video.